Welcome to the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 271. It is Monday, August 14, 2017, as we're recording at our normal time. I don't know when it is while you're watching, <laughs> but we want to welcome you. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Fernico. And I'm Tali, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. We want to welcome all new and returning viewers. We're really happy that you are with us. If you are new, thank you for joining us. We hope you find something that you enjoy and that you will keep coming back. If you are returning, we're really happy to see you back. Yay. Yes. Um, if you are still in the shadows, either new or returning, please feel free to join the Ravelry group so we can have you be eligible for prizes and for giveaways and things like that. And if you are watching us on YouTube and you haven't already, please feel free to press the subscribe button on, on your, your left. left. Okay. Now that that's over with. <laughs> okay. Um, what is in your mug? You go first. I always go first. You go yeah, first. Yeah, but your mug is always the same. I don't care. Your mug is always the same. I am waiting. You are waiting for Vicini? Yes. <laughs> waiting for Vicini. I am waiting for Vicini. Yes, and I'm sure they know the reference. T. I am the Brit Squad. What's that? <laughs> uh, something about I am. Uh, you are the Brute Squad. Yes. No, he says, I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the, the Brute Squad. squad. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Reference for anyone who doesn't Oh, everybody know. knows. Everybody knows must know that. that. I was amused that um, for the last one with Slowly I Turned, most people got the Three Stooges. I completely forgot about the fact Lucy. that they had done it on Lucy. I'd um, never seen it on Lucy. I, I do remember that. It was funny because she did it really drawn. It was, it was funny. Well, Lucy was hilarious. T. You should go first. No, I went first last two times. You're going to go first this Not time. fair. Uh-huh. Your tea is always the same. Uh-huh. I'm not I'm not even impressed. Go on. You're not even remotely cute. You don't get your pen anymore. You don't deserve it. You hit me on the podcast. Did you see that? It was a charm. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> so, because she's mean. I mean, Mommy's Incorporated. Mm -hmm. You don't have your cards anymore. Do you have any of those cards left? I might have one on the bulletin board. When um, we were little, um, Mom and her best friend would say they are part of me, Mommy's Incorporated, and they actually had cards printed. I had my husband do it for me, and I gave her some, and I had some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, some of them said me and mommy's incorporated. Some of them said Seton, our homeschool, um, Holy Family, homeschool, a branch of Seton Home Study School. Yeah, all I remember is me and mommy's incorporated. I, I carried it in my wallet for a long time. <laughs> I thought it was hysterical. You guys are nerds. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we were. I'm proud of it. So, in my tortoise versus hair mug is. I need a tea warmer. You do need a tea warmer. I keep telling you this. My uh, carefree coconut herbal tea. Oh, you decided to try that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Put your feet up and take a minute for yourself. You deserve it. Not on the podcast. I don't think they want to see your feet. Yes, they do. I'm wearing a pair of knitted socks. Those are... Um, Heidi. Yeah, they're Heidi's, but what's the name of that? Um, um, something about jeans. Uh, right. Jeans and t-shirts. Jeans and t-shirts, yes. I always like that color. That's really nice. Yes. So... I was wanting to show my socks in the podcast anyway. Thank you for that segue. I am so good. Um, so, this has Rubio's tea, coconut flakes. Flakes? What's a flape? <laughs> it's like a, uh, what is it, a uh, frappe? <laughs> uh, no, I'll give you a shovel, but continue. No, please continue. Pineapple pieces. 
rose hips, hibiscus, coconut, and pineapple essence. Every time you say rose hips, I see a little rose with little hips. <laughs> but they don't have any hips. They don't have any hips. <laughs> when Davina was little, I probably told this story a couple times. We had just transferred on an EFMB transfer, which is exceptional family member program for the military. Came back to the states, and they were asking her about her body parts, and they said, "Where are she your was hips? little. She was yeah, she was four. Um, so where are your hips? I don't have any hips. Well, she knew where her hips was. Where it's just that she was so thin that we always told her she had no hips. <laughs> I had to explain it to them because you know if you go by that, then they think that she doesn't know her body parts. It was pretty funny. You had to be there. <laughs> so. This is a brand new tea uh, for the tea club, and I'll show the other teas for the tea club later. But uh, this is the August kit. Um, the August package. Yes. Love Andy's tea. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. Has a pretty color to it. It does. Kind of caramel color. A little darker well, it smells than caramel. good. It's definitely a desserty tea. Oh, I like that. It does mm -hmm. not taste like Germany tea. Really? That's really good. It's like probably that. the first tea you've had in a while. It does not taste like That is really good. I like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to remember that one. That's really good. Because you can taste the coconut, coconut and the is, pineapple. Yes, yes. It's, it's very definitely kind of a tropical kind of um, tea. And uh, I don't know that I would have something that was really sweet with it. <clears throat> no, I, I wouldn't either. I think I, I like it like itself as the dessert. You would want like, like a, uh, like, a like the a biscotti, but not like a chocolate biscotti. No, like what we just had the digestive. Digestive, yeah, the digestive or, um, would be very good with it. It might be good with that as a plain cheesecake. It might be, but cheesecake could be in and of itself sweet. It depends on what kind you have. Yeah, if you have just a plain ordinary cheesecake, it might be okay. But I think it'd be really good with a, a plain digestive. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. Something very, a uh, shortbread. Shortbread. Something like that. It would be very good. Yes. But definitely not with dinner or anything like that. Because that's a sweet. Right. That's it's, like an, even if you're like, I want something sweet, but I don't want a dessert. Right. After dinner. After dinner. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Okay. Mine, I don't have to go into anything. I've got my chai Right. Tea. Because you probably should have gone first. I didn't want to go first. <laughs> because I am the mommy. I get to win once in a while. No. And see, never. Here's the right. I had to. Put in the wrong hand. Like, like Davina said, I'm the president. <laughs> I don't care. You've been ousted. <laughs> I've been ousted. Okay. I've been, um, oh, what is it? Uh, uh, Impeached? Impeached, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, or maybe it was a coup. Anyway. There's so, a coup. I the person who uses the coup against him gets killed or something. I don't want to be killed. <laughs> the hostile takeover? <laughs> That usually involves some sort of death. No, it doesn't. Well, not for businesses and things. Okay, I'm thinking of like um, governments. I'm yeah. thinking of businesses. Yeah. Okay. We want to go into our knitting and crocheting podcast here. Nah. We have the winner for our Miss Scarlet skein. Of, it's a DK weight skein. This very lovely weight uh, skein. And I I did a random number generator this morning. And this is from Cappy, who is the yarn and I on Etsy. And it's a DK, excuse me, singles. And I believe it's got 200, I don't want to open this to look. I think it has 240 or 246 yards, something like that. 250 yards, something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, please don't open it. I'm not, I'm, I'm being creative. The, well, she has a double, um, a double thing and you have to open it. Oh. Okay, so the winner is, uh, was number nine in the thread. And that is Drew Bean, who is Catherine. Okay, Catherine Drew Bean, please send me your full name, your address, and the fact that you won the Cappy Yarn, and we'll get this off to you as soon as possible. Okay, Taya has to work tomorrow night and Wednesday night, is that right? Yes. And then she's off for five days, so it might be a, a couple of days before we can get it off, but as soon as we hear from you, we'll get it set up, okay? Uh, it's like four and a little bit of days, because I have um, a recertification for um, something for work, actually cardiac related. Not Sunday, Monday. That's the last day I'm off. Right, but you said you have this for work on Monday, Sunday. It's no, Monday. I'm, nope, I didn't say Sunday. That is what you said. That is not what we'll, I said. We'll replay it and you'll see. And they'll say, wow, Talia is so right. Yeah, you never are. <laughs> so, never. Never. Anytime you use absolutes like never and always, you know you're wrong. I am never wrong. It's always a thing. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this is, the, this is the yarn. This is for Drew Bean, Catherine. Full name and address, please send it to me, PM me, and I'll get it to Talia because she doesn't 
always see her mail her mail timely fashion okay um want to thank everybody who participated we had 22 or 23 uh posts including mine so i think i did two to 22 22 to 23 mm -hmm. and it was number nine mm -hmm. so congratulations Catherine, and thank you everybody who was who participated thank you much okay all right let me just put this but won't get damaged and congrats Catherine. huh i said congrats Catherine. yes okay all right <clears throat> speaking of cappy okay the yarn i cappy she's still having her um well, before we get into that, she gave us a coupon code, okay, and it's going to be in the group. I don't want to say it on the podcast because it's for our group, and I believe for um, Never Cast Off as well. So if you want to see the code, it is 15% off purchases over tw of over $25, okay, and her Etsy shop is The Yarn and I. So thank you for that very generous thank you. coupon code, Cappy. Much, much appreciated. And she does have some really pretty yarns. She really there. does. She has a lot of stuff on there, not just uh, hand, uh, <coughs> hand dyed, which are gorgeous. You saw my Lady Furnicle that she did especially for me. That is beautiful. She's very talented. Mm -hmm. So um, she also has supplies and things. So, you know, you might want to take a look at that stuff. You got that beautiful coupon code. So, yes. Awesome. Now, you her, have an excuse. Yes. Uh, the Yarn and I Cappy podcast, which is Cappy, uh, is having a cow cow to help fight depression. Okay, stop it. Acupuncture. No, that hurts. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm very. I, she's not hurting me on purpose. I am very um, muscle sensitive with the weather. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. So um, she's not hurting me on purpose. Okay. Um, the Yarn and I Cappy podcast is having a cow cow. Is down there? Not really. Oh. Okay. Is ha is having a cow cow to help fight depression, and just for a depression awareness. Okay. And it, it's been running since January first, and will continue through December thirty first. And what you do is you need to make something that makes you feel joy, and it's for you. Okay. It has to be for you. You're not going to give it away. You're not going to give it to charity or someone for Christmas or whatever. It's for you. Okay. And it makes you feel happy. And you use the. Uh, the tag hashtag one two three for me cal and that's f o r m e k a l c a l okay um and you can double and triple dip anywhere that it works okay so if you do something red for you it can also go in our cardiac red mm -hmm. along if it happens to be a turtle or a hare it can go in the tortoise versus hare yeah okay she's very willing to share that kind of double dip triple dip and i know we are and and i know that laura is and i'm sure anyone else is as long as you do their you know, follow their rules and are part of their group. The Harry Potter Cal Cal is still going on. That's Victorian Studio. That's Maureen. And that is also a year-long Cal Cal. And anything Harry Potter related, the rules are in her group, just like the rules for uh, Cappies are in her group. And this is another really wonderful podcast that if you haven't watched her or aren't familiar with her, you should. She's really informative. She's a lot of fun. She's very talented. And she often will show tutorials, just like Cappy will, mm -hmm. on what she does. And how, and even if they're not strictly speaking tutorials, she shows you how you, she makes things. And some of the stuff she makes are absolutely amazing. So um, that's another Cal Cal. Then there's the Whip It Good Cal Cal, which is Heidi, who is Undead Yarn, our own Heidi. Heidi. Hi, Heidi. And she um, is doing this with Jeanette, who is Bookish Stitcher, and Laura, who is... Uh, crocheting Hoovian and that's what exactly what it says you take out your whips and your plops and you work on them and or finish them and you post them um, I believe that's going to the end of the year so that's good too okay and then there's the stash reduction Cal Cal's which is the never cast off podcast who is uh, Sheila and Deb Deb they are uh, blue yarn always and Deb's destiny and that's that's a podcast I really love them I I see them come up and I watch them almost immediately. They they have a very very good dy dynamic and they're very talented. And Are they the dynamic duo? They're the dynamic duo. A little crazy to be the dynamic duo, but <laughs> they make me laugh. They make but me if you're talking about the 60s dynamic duo. Yeah, they're smarter than that. <laughs> um, so but they're somewhere in between the comic dynamic duo and the 60s dynamic duo. They're, they're in their own... Cl they're class by themselves. Class by themselves. And they, one of them is a designer of patterns. That's Deb. And she has a Ravelry shop. And then um, Sheila has, thank God for bags. And she is she has offered a prize on our podcast in the past. And she's very generous. Her bags are very nice. She does mm -hmm. bags and DPN holders. And she does kits with Cappy sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, 
you might want to check them out and check out their, their podcast so you can be a part of this um, stash reduction cal cal. The rules are in her group and in the Fiber Pusher mm -hmm. group, okay? And Fiber Pusher is Benita. Um, Benita's story, I think, is her name. Yeah, that sounded familiar. And she, I watched them for a while, but I, I got behind because I had so many things to go on. She's very informative. And if you spin a lot, she's someone you might want to watch, okay? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, our current ones. Going into the tortoise versus hare. We have something to show you from tortoise versus hare. We do. Yes, we do. The bags came in. I'm still waiting for the very last portion of what we're going to be putting into the kits, but the bags came in. Okay, so that means that we have the bags in the yarn. Gush, gush, gush. Okay, this one is Talia's. Gush, gush. Thank you. And this one is mine. This is the tortoise. And this is Isn't the that hair. adorable? And the inside fabric says tortoise versus hair 2017 and outdid herself. Um, now we ordered an extra notions pouch. This does not come with the kit, yes. but we decided to order that. And I actually the, really love my notions pouch. Oh, I do too. I love mine. It's absolutely adorable and always outdoes herself for us. And then I have, you have, um, uh, good, good morning, morning sunshine. sunshine and I have magic lagoon beef. So, so you will be the people who ordered the kit. Thank you for supporting the mm -hmm. Cal Cal. Thank you for ordering a kit. This is essentially what you'll be getting minus the Notions pouch. There will yes. be a, some goodies in there. Your yarn will be different. It will either be the Magic Lagoon, the um, Good Morning Sunshine, or the um, Sweet Dreams. And I think the other one was not for the faint of heart. Yes. Okay. The pink is not for the faint of heart. Okay. So, and. We're looking forward to getting those out to you as soon as the stuff comes in. I was told that it should be in by Wednesday. I know I said that the things would be um, sent out by the 18th. It might be a couple days later. She lied. If, um, if the mail doesn't get my stuff to me on time. If the mail does get the stuff to me on time, then I'll be able to send it because out. Because you want your full awesome kit together. Yeah, we, we don't want to have you only have part of the kit. So, okay. So please bear with me um, as I get it out, okay? It, right. It's ready. And, and everything, and the stuff that we're waiting for is already in the mail, okay? So we're just waiting for it to arrive. Um, okay, so the Taurus vs. Hair runs from July 1st through September 30th of 2017. It is Laura's baby. It is Laura Concert's baby. Um, she has very sweetly asked us to co-host again this year. It's our second time doing it with her. And she's the Crocheting Hoovian. And she's the Crocheting Hoovian of the Crocheting Hoovian podcast. The other co-host is... B Wing, who is um, Brittany. Company Crafts, that's B Wing, that's Brittany. And we all have prizes. Our rules are all similar. Um, they may be slightly different in each group, so you might want to check them out, check out their prizes. And if you do um, want to triple dip in all groups, you need to be a member of each group. Brittany's group is not a podcast group, but it's very a active very good in charity. charity group, very yeah. good charity group, okay? So she's well worth getting involved with. Of course, Laura. We speak to, about Laura every podcast, so if you've been here any amount of time, you know right. about Laura. So um, she's well worth watching, <coughs> okay? Um, and she says she wants you to get those tortoises out, so I'm going to do some bunnies. promoting for her, get those tortoises out, so this one has to do a full-size tortoise. Oh, the poor little bunnies. Um, they, they aren't getting loved. Oh, they're, they're loved. It's just that we have, this, is, ninja. this is a race. It's okay. How can you not love a face like that? You've got to make a bunch of bunnies. Turtle, 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 turtle. You can do like a Tara, a cute little Tara, or a cute Timmy. Or how can you not want to make, where is my bitty? Where's where bitty's at? There he oh, is. there he is. The bitty. Bitty says, make more turtles. Bunnies, make more turtles. You see, he's not jumping. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you dropped my turtle. Well, he uh, off balance ninja. See? I, lose, she, she I lost cool. my grip on ninja. She so who does she drop? Not the one who can hop. The one who's gonna break his shell if he falls backward. He didn't fall backward. Oh, you're you're not a nice person. No, nope. need more turtles. Need more turtles. Okay, we we had um, you you have this bunny like looking at you with the hurry. That's Serena's oops. Serena's oops. Oops, and down goes Valeria. Annika. Yes, Annika. No, that was, is that one Annika? Yeah, because Valeria... I can't see where people... Where people Valeria's Pippi in my is. room. Yeah. Pippi. Pippi's on, over here. Yeah, that's why I said I couldn't see Pippi. Yeah. Because... 
This one's mine though, right? You made it for me. Yes, that's why. Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's why, that's why, that's why. Yeah, because I don't like to work with black yarn; it hurts my eyes, um, and my, I can't see it very well. So, she made me a black and white one. Okay, we're gonna put them back because we got sidetracked. I don't know how that happened. Because we, we never get sidetracked. Never. <laughs> okay. It's um, such a rarity. Okay, so Oops. the okay. rules for us, one whip per project per week, the FO whenever it's finished, FOs that are Talia's projects, uh, Talia's patterns, or include my yarn, are um, eligible for two chances at a prize in our group. If you use both my yarn and her pattern and you finish it, you have three chances of a prize. If it's in Laura's group, you get four chances for a prize. Right. And I think she also includes Heidi's yarn in the yes, specialty. Yes, she does. She does. Okay. All right. Um, they may be knitted, crocheted, or loom knitted. Okay, so that's, you know, whatever you want to do there. And they don't have to be Ty's patterns. They'd be nice if they are, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be. They can be, you know, if you knit, they can be Susan Claudino patterns. And, you know, there are many patterns out there. That like really Bon cute. Bon the Bunny. Yeah. Uh, well, Turtle Turtle. Well, I, don't, I, I don't know if it's called Turtle Turtle, but... i trying to remember if it is or not. It's adorable. It, it is cute, but it's bomb on the money. Okay. Um, okay, we went through the prizes last week, so I'm not going to go through them again, except to thank all of our donators who are extremely generous. Thank you very much. There's also that really cute Dutch bunny that... Um, that Paul, Paul sent us that we yeah. need to make, yes. Uh -huh. he, he sent us the information and we have to make hi Paul hi. it's been a while since we've seen Paul I guess I should put Paul down here I think it's Paul 81 Polly Polly 81 I think it's just Paul 81 are you sure well, maybe it is I think it's Paul 81 it might be Polly all right um, I don't remember who all we met we talked about so anyway uh, you've right. fallen down on the job now the cardiac read along we have two lovely co-hosts for this that's Blue Yarn Always, who is Sheila, and Deb's mm -hmm. Destiny, who is Debbie. That's one group as a as a co-host. Mm -hmm. And then we have Jeanette, who is Bookish Stitcher. And they're both well worth watching, as we they're have They're all well worth watching? Well, they're two podcasts. Yeah, I guess so. Um, so they each have their own rules, um, but we're the same. One whip project per week. And actually, I think Blue Yarn Always completely just took our our uh, rules. rules. So uh, one FO, one FO is she a rule finished. Thief? I'm sorry? Is she a rule thief? No, I think it was just easier. Um, and I think that you do have to listen to her podcast if you want to hear if you win because I don't think they tag. I think mm -hmm. they only do it by watching the podcast because mm -hmm. they want the people who watch to win. To win. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one whip per project per week. Again, won't FO whenever it's finished. Use red or pink in a significant amount. Double chance for the FO with Cappy's heart yarn. Any of her red yarns because she's done a lot with um, heart related things and she did that special one this one here that we gave away as a prize, uh, Miss Scarlet. There's another one called Heart Something that a couple of you have bought. Those will get you double chance for uh, an FO. An FO will get you a double ch uh, chance. Taya's patterns and my yarn in reds and pinks or pinks um, will also get you double chances for a prize for your FO. So you have chances to you know, you can up your chances if you use the right yarns and the right patterns mm -hmm. and combinations. So, um, and we went through the prizes for this again uh, last week. I showed them all, so I'm not going to go through them except to thank all the donators once again. They, they have also been very, very generous. Yes, they have. Uh, we have lots of really nice prizes this time around. We always do. Yes, Because you guys are so generous. So we are, we are very appreciative of that. Thank you very much. Okay, did you, you want any heart? You wanted to do some stuff, right, on your heart? Yeah. Um, if... Um, I just wanted to, because I received um, several messages. Um, uh, thank you, everybody, for their uh, concern and everything, because I talked a little bit about um, the um, heart issues uh, last week. But um, I'm going to take a sip of tea. I had um, several people ask exactly if I had considered different options of what, of it, what I have is. Um, I actually have a diagnosis. It's just finding the cause and the way to treat it is difficult. Um, a lot of people have asked if it is AFib. AFib is when the top part of the heart and the bottom part of the heart don't squeeze together at this, um, properly. You know, it's supposed to keep it a consistent rhythm 
um, bump, 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 um, like that. But when um, there's AFib, the top part of the heart squeezes the way it wants to um, and doesn't listen to the bottom part of the heart um, and keep with that rhythm. Um, I've looked at my own heart rhythm because I have that ability. I work in a place where I have access to heart monitors and can easily slap myself on the monitor to take a look and see. And I know for a fact that I'm within a normal rhythm. I'm my How fast my heart goes um, is what the problem is. Um, and I've figured to do a little bit of education because this might be something, if you are having some of the similar symptoms and you haven't had anyone bring this up, this might be something you could bring up to your doctor. The, um, again, this is not for, uh, I not, cannot diagnose you. And this is not to take the place of, of the doctor. advice. The doctor is the one who knows, but, um, this is it, just something to be on the lookout it's for. It's something to be on the lookout for. Um, the, um, it's a fair, fairly new diagnosis, um, for when it was recognized, it was first recognized in ni late 1970s. Um, the diagnosis is syndrome of inappropriate sinus tachycardia, which basically means the heart is beating quickly at times, um, but it's not appropriate to whatever activity you're doing. Like you expect your heart to beat faster when you're exercising, like if you take a run, but you don't expect it to beat at the same speed that it would when you're taking a, a run when you stand up and walk to your kitchen. Um, so, um, basically, uh, it is a condition that occurs, when it does occur, it's seen in women who are, um, in their late 20s, early 30s. Um, it could have been going on for years, but got misdiagnosed as anxiety the first time around because there's no definitive cause and it's um can be exacerbated um it can be um triggered by uh stressors including uh physical stress emotional stress um any anything that can like i said it there's activity intolerance involved so i can Walk, take a walk around my neighborhood and where a mom will get with her heart rate in the 90s my heart rate will go where it should be if I was jogging. Uh -huh. We usually have about a 30, 25 to 30 beat difference. I will, I will get anywhere between 85 and 95 and she'll get 125 to 130 sometimes mm -hmm. or 120, 100 one like a uh, late one teens right. to, to up one, as high as one forty five. Yeah. Um. And um, it's not thought to be dangerous. Um, because when you sleep, your heart rate does slow. Um, down. Um, to the. Well, but it slows to like nineties. Um, to a hundred, low hundreds when you're sleeping. Um, so that prevents the heart from having too much damage from being worked too fast all the time. Um, it's still kind of fast though. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and, um, you, the biggest thing with this is the fact that they, they don't think it's dangerous, but they say that the symptoms can be debilitating. I can get coming and going dizziness, um, I can feel like I'm going to pass out. Um, I can um, get chest pain, um, palpitations, which is where you can feel your heart beating really fast. Um, and um, I think I hit all of them. Palpitations, chest pain, dizziness, feeling like I'm going to pass out. Yeah, I think I Don't hit Don't get a shortness of breath? I did when uh before I got treated right. with any medicine at right. all um so uh oh exhaustion mm -hmm. um uh and the symptoms come and go they may or may not be related directly to the heart rate so you can the concern is with this that I can treat the heart rate 
and currently I am on medicine to help, the, to tr help treat the heart rate, but it's not helping the heart rate, so I need my medicine adjusted. Um, but, um, uh, it, you can treat the heart rate and it may or may not help the symptoms, which is the biggest concern. They don't know what causes it. They think it might be an electrical issue, but because they don't know what it causes it, they don't know how to treat it. Um, so it's really a lot of symptom management. Um, so, um, it's, yeah, it, it just, and any amount of activity can make it flare up, um, or may not. <laughs> well, we, we've gone for walks and stuff and she's fine. And then she comes home and, you know, we'll be resting for a while or whatever. And she'll get up from the table and, yeah. you know. And um, I used to always wonder why I'd come home from a walk and feel completely wiped out to the point where I need a nap. Mm -hmm. I just thought I was out of shape. <laughs> There's that, right? Um, but... Um, you don't have much time to work out. No, I don't have much time to work out. And now working out is an issue because um, my heart rate does go so fast. That's why we try to get it in whenever we can. Like after this podcast, if it's not raining, my husband is well aware of what's going on so we he gets home he makes his lunch for tomorrow and we'll go for a walk around the neighborhood mm -hmm. and we'll just tailor the speed to her needs or my needs or both of our needs mm -hmm. and then um come home and you know try yeah. to do that so um so um yeah it's just a bit of an informational if you're having and a lot of times like i said i when i first started having symptoms four years ago um my primary thought that, well, nothing's showing up, this is anxiety. And I knew it wasn't. And it wasn't until four months ago, approximately, that a doctor's like, I think there's something electrically going on. Yeah. So, um, because the symptoms have gotten worse. Um, but um, that, if you are finding that you're having symptoms that, you know, don't really match up, and you're, you know, you are younger. This is some, it's not necessarily super common. Um, but it's something to be aware of. It's something to be aware of. Um, basically, just like we talked about last time, know your body, listen to your body. Um, and if something doesn't feel right with your body, talk to the doctor. Um, and because if you, and sometimes if you the symptoms can be very subtle. And if you don't feel you're being listened to, find somebody else. Because or, or, it took me... A while to get someone to listen to me. Um, now, granted, I went silent for four years because I um, I didn't think I could get anyone to listen to me, and I um, justified symptoms. She wouldn't listen to me. She wouldn't go in. She's stubborn. <laughs> yeah, it, I justified them until I couldn't live with the symptoms right. anymore. Um, so just you know, don't be, don't hesitate to go see somebody if you think you have the symptoms, and if you don't feel like you're being listened to, push it. Mm -hmm. and or find somebody else who will listen to you you know I mean they may come back with the same right and it, thing but the same diagnosis of you know it isn't anything like this but they may not right it's just something to be aware of um like I said I don't know how common it is I get the idea that it's not overly common I've had just talking to people that I work with because I work in the I am a nurse I work in the health profession I've probably only had one nurse that I've worked with know what I'm talking about. Um, I've had to explain it to everybody else. Um, so it's not particularly well known even in health among healthcare professionals. Um, well, it's still new. It's still fairly new, and um, a lot of times the the question I get is, "Well, are you sure you don't need like a Xanax or a tranquilizer?" <laughs> I hate that. Um, usually makes me want to punch somebody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Not to say that people don't have uses no, for that. It's just, no. you know, um, it's annoying to come with something and have them say something else. Um, but, uh, now, they do say that anxiety can, if you're having anxiety, it can make it worse because that's, an, again, a stressor. Right. Um, well, anxiety makes everything worse. Right. But then uh, it becomes a vicious cycle. Yes. But <laughs> that's... <laughs> Far more information about me that you really want to know, but that is a bit of an unusual condition, um, and it is something that, you know, if someone else is experiencing some of these symptoms, 
you aren't crazy. Yeah. Um, that was, I kept thinking that I was making up these symptoms or something or that I was causing it to myself by working myself up somehow. Um, the, you are actually feeling the symptoms even when your heart rate's not going up. I thought that, oh, I'm imagining it because my heart rate's not up at this particular time. No, that is part of the syndrome according to the cardiology articles I've read. Um, so, um, yeah, that, I, that's mostly why I wanted to reach out because it's, it's very frustrating to feel like you're crazy right. <laughs> and, and to know that you don't feel well at the same time. Right. But yes, that's enough about me. Okay. Uh, projects. Indeed. I have like five. I have nine. <laughs> so. Okay. Because we actually were proactive and counted ahead of time. We did. Everybody's probably falling off their chairs. And okay. Sue's not going to be messed up with her counting. I know. She's not going to know what to do. She's just not going to know what to do. Okay. In my Kiki Boo Puzzle Pieces Project bag is because he asked me to uh, because he asked me, which is the Tie Me Up pattern by Bernat Design Studio. And this is a, um, I did a few rows on this actually. This three inches are probably the longest three inches I've ever done. I still have three inches to go. Well, and, that I, and I did six rows, <laughs> so, or something like that. Well, six rows generally doesn't equal three inches. So that equals like well, half an inch. It depends on your yarn though. And your gauge, but. Yeah. So with that yarn and that needle, you're, you'd probably get like half an inch to an inch with six. But. So that's that's how far I've gotten. This is the Shire colorway. I'm using size threes, and this is Mad Tosh. I love Mad Tosh. I do too. The colors are beautiful, Mad Tosh. Um, so I'm hoping that I can finish this for Christmas again. I, I keep pushing it back, but it just it's just taking me a while to do this. And, I, and I've come to the conclusion I'm not going to rush myself on anything. The only thing I kind of rush myself on are Ty's tests. Which is why I don't do anybody else's tests because I can't expect them to wait for me to finish on things. Taya gives me extra time. Mm -hmm. So that goes in here. And I don't slap her hand if she can't keep up. Yeah. I might mock her roundly. Okay, the next one I have is my Bright's Baby Blanket. That's the malt pattern. And it's in my Knitting's My Bag Angel Bag, my sweater size bag. I'm using US 8 Chow Goo Red Lace Interchangeables and Hobby Lobby I Love This Yarn in the Brights colorway. And I made a little bit of progress on this. I think I did two or three rows. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the right side here. Oops. So you can see it's a different, definite difference in where the stockinette and the garter. You can start seeing where the pocket is starting. Not the pocket, but it looks like a pocket. I call it a pocket over here. Um, is that right? Yes, it's your pocket. Yeah, right here. I have a little direction. It's in your pockets. Is. So I like the way this is turning out. It's very fall, very fallish. And this is just, you know, whenever I finish it, I'll finish it. I might be doing more on this because it's a little bigger and I don't, won't mind having it on my lap now that it's getting a little cooler, although it's not cool yet. We're getting a lot of rain right now. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh, let me, I'm in the middle of the room. Well, you knew I was going to be finishing. Well, I figured you'd be doing like 12 projects because you have like no, 20. No, I don't do 12 in a row and I only have nine. Well, you know, potato, potato. Mm, tomato, tomato. I think I'll smash it on your head. You just call the whole thing off. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, so let me bring my show notes up. Um, so it's actually the project I'm working on. Um, in my Pod Blue uh, Somebody background. Somebody mentioned Pod Blue on one of the podcasts recently. I've actually never heard any podcast Somebody mention mentioned her. I, I, I found surprised. her on my own, and I never had seen anyone else. No, I didn't either. But somebody mentioned her. Or unless unless somebody else picked up the name because somebody mentioned it, I would say it's our influence. Mm. Probably. 
Um, apparently, I made this lady's husband very happy when I wore yeah, it, and I, I went that. back I because she, he was like, "Oh my gosh, someone actually asked for that." But anyway, um, in my pot blue back girl bag, because originally she had it when she was selling them. She was selling, um, I guess you would say like the equivalent of girl power because it was, it was, it was super kind of birds girl. Of prey. No, it wasn't birds of prey because Supergirl uh, was never. Mm. I don't think Supergirl was ever birds of prey. I know that Power Girl was at right. one point. Um, but I don't think Supergirl ever was. Um, I only know a couple of birds of prey right off the top of my head. I know Power Girl was, I know Huntress was, um, Wasn't, uh, Black Canary Black was, Canary, yeah. and, um, of course, Oracle. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, the bag had Batgirl, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman on it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, can I have one just that's Batgirl and that's really large? Yeah. And so she made me a specific Batgirl one, because, you know, I... I'm okay with backgrounds uh, with a with a Supergirl and a Wonder Woman, but you know I'm far more into the bats. Um, but this is my this is Kate's Fault Miter Square blanket, which is scrap sport DK worsted weight yarns. I do I have a couple bulkies in here, um, and inspired by K F Jones of Baker Bears fame, and the tutorials are in the. Um, um, members only um, Patreon. Patreon, thank you. My brain's not completely working. I'm tired. Um, so, I got a few. Not nearly the amount of squares I got done last week. Well, yeah, you were you know, busy and also more relaxed. So, um, this one, which was Miss Babs, I want to say. Yeah, we said Reishi or, or the other one. Biker so, chick. Someone gave me this. Um, I feel like you or Davina did. Um, then, um, can't remember where that came from. Oh, th this was um, from one of those um, ones that I got at Maryland Sheep when right. I bought all those mini skates, and so is this one. So, I'm almost done with this row. Cool. And I'm still probably not going to leave in the ends yet because I don't feel like it. <laughs> They'll be there. They'll be there, yeah. I'll, I'll <laughs> That's one thing them. you don't have to worry about. The ends will always be there. <laughs> exactly. Um, but it'll probably happen is like a year or so down the line, I'll sit there weaving all the ends while I'm watching a movie or something. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be cursing myself for not having woven in the ends eons ago. Mm. But, yes, um, that is that. Okay, in my, this is my um, Oceana Cal from the Nifty Knitter Cal with Pom Poms or Imogen Cal pattern. And this is by Lion Brand Yarn, so I think it's a freebie. I think you do too this time as well. Yeah, I might. Okay, and I'm using the largest size circular easy loom that I have, and James C. Brett Marble Chunky, and I think this is the Oceana colorway. I don't remember. I did a little bit on this. Oops. It's a really pretty color. I do like this color. And if you want to see how this color works up um, a little tighter, uh, go back into Laura's Laura Concerts podcast. She did a Timmy, a I huge think. Timmy, out of this yarn. Because we challenged her and she did it. <laughs> she took the t she took the challenge without hesitation. So it looks open and that's okay. It's not overly open when you wear it, and that's okay because this is heavy yarn and you want to be able to breathe. Psh, so, overrated. I, and I'm not going to do. I didn't like the way the um, my other one is up there. It's in the uh, it's another James C. Brett. And I think it's in the autumn colorway or something like that, and it calls for you to fold it down and sew it and I don't necessarily like that so I think I'm going to just look up again how I can um, cast off this or bind off of this without having to pull it shut because I had to do it for the other one as well just to sew it down and just leave it without the fold down because I don't want it no I don't <laughs> no you don't no I don't but this is fine I just it's kind of mindless you go round and round you do have to pay attention that you don't miss a peg or whatever. If I'm not paying attention, I have three loom projects going. If I'm not paying attention, I'll say, oh wow, I missed one. And I'll have to go back and do that one. Hopefully before I've gone any further around the loom, because I still have to figure out how to fix drop stitches and things like that on the loom. You probably want to look into that Yeah. at some point. I'll think about it tomorrow. Okay, is it still my turn? Yes, it is still your turn. Okay. Um, and that's, oh, that's my, my yellow Mickey Mouse. It's a Turbinator bag, in case I didn't mention. It's like, hey, uh, Kenneth, we miss you. Um, he 
he does it when he can, and sometimes he does floss tube instead of. Um, right, because he's really he, into his distance. Because he, yeah. he does a lot of different crafts, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll see him soon. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, my Valeria shawl project from the Perfect Retreat shawl pattern by Susan B. Anderson. And this was gifted to me by Valeria. She very sweetly gifted it to me. Let me see what bag it's in. I've had to start putting what bags I put things in because I forget. Because <laughs> I move them around. Well, then I'm also bad about updating what bag I put it in. Yeah. I changed my bag. So I, I did a little bit of progress on this. This is Miss Babs What a Skein. Yeah, What a Skein in the um, Maryland Sheep and Wool 2016 colorway. It's a really pretty color. Right now I'm on the greens. Um, let's see here. Somehow I'm caught here. Not sure what I did. You caught on the stitch marker. Yeah, I just don't know why it's there. Okay. All right. Anyway, so you can see I love the way the color is working out. Talia has a, this colorway too. Hers has a lot more orange in it. Oh yeah, that's why I designed Tara. Yeah. <coughs> so. <coughs> This, I'm using US, let me think, I'm using US 9s for this, and these are not interchangeable, so I prefer the fixed circulars. And this is the way the colorway looks. You can see there's a little bit of orange in it, but oh, not yeah, you nearly, barely have any orange. Not nearly the orange that Ty has, and there may be some more inside this cake. Mine has a ton of But Ty's had a lot more orange. I'm not a big fan of orange, so it wasn't any hardship for Ty to, she doesn't really... She likes orange better than I do, so she mm -hmm. it wasn't a hardship for her to give this to me. And this DPN cozy was made by um, Sheila, who is Blue Yarn Always from the Thank God for Bags. So it's a really nice uh, DPN holder, and it works really well for my circulars, too. So I'll just put this back on, because I keep running out of my other ones, the, um, the metal ones. I have to get some more of them. Mm -hmm. But I like using these as well, because it keeps everything... I don't okay. particularly like using for um, circulars. I like using for DPNs, but um, this works so far. It's worked really well. It's just not my preference. I like it, but everybody's different. Okay. And my way is always better. <laughs> Your turn. Is it now? Is it really? Is it? Is it? In my Kitty Boo bag, uh, autism awareness puzzle pieces bag. Um is the Christmas Peppermint Socks. I feel like I'm being attacked by a bunny. Okay, there we go. Stay. Um, this is the basic rib sock using Magic Loop Pattern by Melissa Bayer. I'm using Dragonfly Fibers in the base Dragon Sock and in the colorway Stole Christmas. And I cast it on in Advent of last year. Sock number one is still done. It didn't get undone from the last <laughs> podcast. So, stripping the light, fantastic. And why does it have such a huge tail? Because I've used a long tail cast on. You jump a rope with this. And actually, no, I'm sorry, that's my um, bind off. Oh, I wasn't sure how much yarn I would need um, for um, my um, Kitchener. Oh, that's what it was. Um. Uh -huh. And I'd rather have more yarn than not enough when I'm kitchenering. Very pretty. And here is, thank you, sock number two so far. And it is more stretchy than it looks. Oh, it's, it, it fits. Boy, this would be really nice uh, on your foot because, is, are you making one of my socks out of this? Out of this I one? haven't yet, but I do plan on it. That's going to be my uh, go-to fingering weight. Because, so you can make my socks that... Yes. Not my socks at rock. Um, Your socks that you're getting. My in. opal. Yes. Because um, the one pair of socks that you gave me slides really, really a that lot. That would be the one that is. It's not the slouchy ones. I only made you two. The, these. These, sli these slide for you? Because they uh -huh. don't slide for me. They slide for me. Not always, but they do slide. Hmm. So. Although, uh, if you watch, wash them infrequently, they do. Um, they have, they need the washing to whoosh back. I, I do wash them. Mm -hmm. But I don't wash them in the washing machine. I don't either. Mm -hmm. um, I will discuss with you your the errors of your ways. Ha, 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 ha. Um, but yes. How many do you have left? I only have like three. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess I could do one more set of two. Mm -hmm. Okay. My Mother's Day shawl is my next project. It's in my green Star Wars at at bag. And this is the Dead Easy Shawl pattern by Heidi, who is Knitty Girl from Undead Yarn. And this is a free pattern, and I would highly recommend you checking it out. I'm using US Sixes and Undead Yarn in the Roadkill and Jaws colorways and in the Witch Base uh, Jaws. Uh, I don't know what I have though, which colorway. Um, which base, but anyway, here it is, and I'm. It's another roadkill. That's which. Yeah, you had a couple roadkills. Yeah, it's. I think I have it here because I wanted to show you something. I seem to have done something, and I can't quite figure out what it is. So, um, you can see that I've changed the colors here. It's really pretty. I like her. I like the colors, and I'm just waiting for Talia to look at it so I can, you know. Go on I or. think you're showing it to them backwards. You were. It's a garter stitch. Oh, garter. I mean, it's garter, but I mean, I thought I saw a slight bit of pattern too, but I guess it's not. It's up here. See, it, it looks like there's a hole or something, but I don't see a drop stitch. I think oh, I see I think what right you here. did. Yeah. yeah. Let me. So she's gonna up. she's gonna back it up for me and fix it. So I will go on to my next one while she does that. Um, my next one is the rainbow turtle from the Biddy the Bashful Baby Turtle pattern by Talia. Princess did you even try to Yes, fix? I did. Because you know what you did? No. I don't have any idea. I, I tried to fix it, but I couldn't figure out what I did. This is what you did. You didn't complete your stitch, and then when you tried to fix it, you just, you never fixed the fact that you never completed your stitch. I don't know what to talk. I don't understand. Hold on. Let me fix this. You're good. Okay, thank you. So she fixed it for me. Is it all fixed? Yeah, it's all fixed. Thank you. I mean, it's going to look a little looser, but it's still... Well, that's fixed. okay, as long as it's fixed. Thank you very it's much. It's all better. Much appreciated. Because I, I couldn't figure out what I did. You you know when you pull the yarn through the loop mm -hmm. to make your stitch? You didn't pull it through all the way, so you had... I do that a lot. Yeah. I have to figure out. It must be... You know what it is? This is one of the projects I do when I watch television. Mm -hmm. And I was probably watching a superhero movie or something... And you just get going. I don't. Well, you're not normal. I am near <laughs> extraordinaire now. <laughs> so that's that. I will go to my next one now, though. Thank you, Ty. You're welcome. Okay. My, I was saying the sea turtle, right? My, my. Well, it's not a sea turtle. It's the baby turtle in my sea turtle bag. It is my bag. Is it? You're making another terra? No. Um. Why would you not make another terra? Well, I have to finish Biddy first. If I don't make a certain project that we're talking about with Cappy's yard, I'll probably make a, ta a tear up mm -hmm. with that. So this is Biddy, because I'm more likely to use more yarn. Right. And I'm just to the point now where I'm supposed to start Sorry. stuffing it, so I stopped. I have to start stuffing the bottom, and I can do the little bitty legs. Does she have four? No, she has two, right? She has two, because mm -hmm. uh, she is based on... Oh, oh. Actually, it's a he. Biddy's a he. Well, this one's a she. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think um, based it's very it's just a smaller Timmy. Okay, so I have two legs and the head to do after I'm done with this. Tara is the first one to have four yeah. legs and a tail. So this one, I'm taking my time on, and I will stuff it. I have to stuff it, and then I can start um, finishing the de finishing the decreases and start the the feet. I'll do the feet two at a time, and then I have the head to do. And usually I do the head first, but apparently I wanted to play with my yarn first. <laughs> so that's what I did. Okay. Your turn. I want to finish my decrease first. Your turn. That's just spoiled turtle stomp. Well, you know, got to make sure the turtle doesn't get too spoiled. And what do you do when you when kids uh, throw temper tantrums? You know what the turtles do when the people don't do what they want, uh, want them to do? They do that where the turtles turn around and they go, SMASH! <laughs> Remember? <laughs> they, on uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the four of them turned around and they smashed somebody in between. <laughs> I don't remember that. Was that, that the old one? one? No. They, they kind of bring that into all of them, actually, because they always say that, and then they say, I love being a turtle. Oh. <laughs> um, yes, we're nerds. Next one. Not geeks, nerds. I usually claim geekdom. 
I always get confused. I think nerd is like pocket protector. I'm not and sure tape on your glasses. I'm not sure that's true anymore. Is but it? that's what the that's usually like geeks are the ones. But who what's the current? Because the because what it was before doesn't matter. I think it's still that way. Well, then I'm a geek. <laughs> um. So a nerd geek, a geek nerd, a nerdy geek, geeky nerd. Anyway, in my um, in this one, um, and this is gonna move bags. In my flame bag by a person I can't remember who made it um, is Anita, which is the Oops the Bunny pattern designed by me. And I'm using uh, Lady Furnico Creation Sport Weight in the colorway Tortoise versus Hare. I need to move my um, own bag too. And this is not for the faint of heart. Um, and I oh, forget something here like that. Um, does fit in my ah? Oh, it does fit in my oceans pouch. Okay. I wonder if all the yarn will fit in here for this. There we go. Um. So she, I have her head done. Turn her head around. There we go. There's her head. And then it's her upper body Aww. and her lower body. Is, I'm on the last row. I just barely fit all this in my little bag here. So, I get not have enough room. Small little deflated bunny so far. Um, she's actually going to be really small. She is. Which I love the really Is that small. my, uh, the sport weight I did? Yeah. Because this, I guess, is a, it's almost a, it's not a heavy fingering, but it's a little smaller than the normal sport. It is, because I noticed that when I was using the sport weight nitpicks with it. Right. But she's going to be so cute and small. There. And I am keeping her. Um. So. So I, I have to remember to change this out for my bag. And when I'm done with her, I'll start the yellow one. See? It fits. It's a nice size bag. You it can is. see I've got two skeins, two partial skeins of Knit Picks, but they're almost full, and a uh, partial skein of my yarn plus my project, and it's got plenty of room in here. I've got a partial skein of Mom's and a full skein of Mom's in there, plus the bunny in progress. Yes, yeah, I took mine out because I have more. I have to work with more skeins than you do. Yeah, I have more colors. So, well, I can now get the white that I'll need for the tail and put it in there. Right. I'm gonna put. Because I didn't have room in the other bag. So I did, but it was kind of an awkward bag for that. Right. Well, I really like this bag. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's just going to continually have a bunny in it because it is. Okay. I need to find what, ha what my actual tortoise versus hair bag, my other one, my one from last year has in it because I need to maybe move. You mean this one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This, um, let me see. Where am I now? Because I might need to. It's my turn, right? Move something. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take more. Why do I have so many? How many do you have left? Two. Okay. I have three. That'll work. Yeah, it'll work. If I have to do two at the end, that's fine. Okay, this is another um, Ann Brody Silver Shed USA bag that I won. This one I won from Laura Concert. And this is my table runner. It's a Cerebell table runner from the Cerebell Scarf pattern by Sarah Sweethearts. And this, I have made so many of this pattern in various forms because I just love it. You probably hold the record for how I've, many of those are made. I don't know. I've made... Laura does this with her turtles. I was doing that with this pattern. I just love the way it works. It's so pretty. Yeah, people who used to follow the podcast, uh, you know, a few years back will remember. Right. I made lots and lots of this. I've made cowls. I've made scarves. I've made, this is the first table runner. I made a shawl with this pattern. Mm -hmm. And um, I only did about two rows on this because I can only do about one row at a time. Um, not because it's hard, but the double crochet. The double crochet bothers my hands. So, and not only is it double crochet, but it's three double crochets in, um, in you know, in, in one stitch. Mm -hmm. It's so, a shell. It's a shell stitch, and and then that's not the only thing you do in the stitch. So, mm -hmm. 
And I think this is a free pattern. I, I'm pretty sure it is a free pattern. But I don't want to risk giving anything away. But I really do like this. And this will be a table runner when I'm finished. I think it's about a quarter of the way through. I'm in no real rush. The table's not going anywhere. <laughs> so, um, and what I, I think if I ever do this again with this yarn to make a table runner, I used a, um, this is a bulky yarn, and I used a K. I think I'd actually go up to an L or an M just to mm -hmm. make it a little more lacy. looser, my, more lacy. So, you know, this would be just fine. So, and I have two skeins in this little bag, plus my project, so it's pretty full. So next one for me is in my Big Skein the Little Wool bag, the Velveteen Rabbit. Is it a little skein the Big Wool? Yeah. I thought you said Big Skein the Little Wool. I don't know, I have to go back and, wa listen and watch. Because it's like... Um, well, I know what it is. I just thought you said it backwards. Little skein of the big wool. Yeah. What did I say? I thought you said it the opposite way. If I try to say it, I'll say it the same way you did it. It won't make any sense. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like you saying tree turtles. Tree tortoises is what I said. I don't remember. All I know is you said tree turtles. Um, so pumpkin latte is the project. The pattern is Oops the Bunny by me. And I'm using Marigold Jam Worcester Weight in the colorway pumpkin latte. Uh -huh. Big skein, little wool. So you, you did it again? No, it says it right there. Okay, so it is right. Because that's what I was asking you. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's big skein, little wool. This makes sense. Little skein, the big wool sounds better. But I'm pretty sure it's big skein, little wool. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Take it up with her. It doesn't make any sense. Um, she needs so. to have a tag on her bag. She does. Of course, this is her old bag. She might have them now. Yeah. Uh huh. I learned about her from Suburban Stitcher. You see, I first heard of her from Kay. Oh, I, I learned from her a long, long time when I was watching Suburban Stitcher. So I'm actually in the same exact place as I am on Anita. I've basically been doing a little bit on one bunny, doing a little bit on the this other. Is cute. Like you would do for, you know, two at a time. Yeah. Socks or something. That's so cute. I will be sad when I get rid of this one because I do love the colorway very much. That's cute. It's adorable. And I just can't justify keeping... It's a pumpkin bunny. It's a pumpkin latte bunny. Yes, it's adorable. Look That's at so cute. I love the little, just the way the brown's working up across the eyes, mm -hmm. and I love it's this. It's kind of a so rusty, pumpkiny, not really brown across it, the eyes. Yeah, it's really nice. Almost like he has a mask. Yes. So, okay. exact same place as the other bunny. Okay. My next one is my Turtle Turtle Pot Holder from the Turtle Love Pot Holder Pattern by Vonnie Luce, our own Studio Von. Studio Von Design, Vonnie. Yes, it's Vonnie. And uh, I'm using a US uh, 3, well, US, I'm using a 3.75 millimeter F hook. And Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton solids in three different greens. And that's in my Tortoise versus Hair. And I finished the top whichever one I bind off I finished that one so that's how big it is and I've started because I don't like when I finish a piece I don't like leaving it to start you know I want to start another piece right away so here's the either the bottom or the top whichever one I haven't done so it's going to go together I guess so that's that you get quite a bit work on that I don't know if I was supposed to do I did I don't know if I was supposed to do the second color on this, she didn't say. Let me see. Maybe she did and I didn't see it. Because it looks like... It looks like a second color. It might be a second color. I might have to pull this out. It's only a few stitches. It just says make two. It does just say make two. But it, but it says top shell color, bottom shell color. Okay, so I, I, will re I will take this out and redo it. Which is fine. I wasn't paying attention. I was just wanting to... It's not the pattern. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching television. I was wanting to make sure I had this started. So I will use the color for the shell. I will probably use the darker color of the two. This one. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. Or this one? I don't know. Yeah, this one. And I'll, yeah. You'll see. Whatever I choose. You'll, you'll see <laughs> when I get to that the point. The bird will, will know. Turtle bunny. Birdle. Birdle. Turtle bunny. Turtle bunny. It's so cute. So that, and this is another silver shed. This is um, Silver Shed USA. This is our tortoise versus hair bag that Ann Brody did for us, and this is another large. So, getting a lot of use out of that. 
my last project is in this um, Clover Bird Creepy Llamas bag. <laughs> we haven't called it that in a long time. We haven't. Well, the I Creepy Llamas. Clover, I think Clover Bird's overseas again. Is she? Because I, I saw something on Instagram, and I, she was like some exotic place. Hmm. Well, military life. Yeah, military. Um, so this is Bunny Love. It's a bunny pot holder for Talia pattern by uh, Vonnie Luce, which is uh, Vonnie, Studio Von Design. Um, and I'm using Hobby Lobby. I love this cotton in the colorways red and orange aid. Um, I've only worked it a little bit at a time. Uh, Will I use two colors? Why don't you use it three? No, just two. Oh, well, mine has three and yours has two. Okay. Yeah. Bunnies don't require nearly as much color. Yeah, I'm like barely. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I spend a lot of my time when I do crochet um, doing single crochet because it's less uh, work on the hands. Right. And it's a lot more mindless for me. So mindless is good for me right now. Right. But, but we, will, we will both be finishing our... Yes, it just might take me a while. Yeah, it'll take us a little while. I love the idea I that like the feel of this. I do too. I love this. I'm going to get some more of that cotton... First of all, I use it to tie off my skeins because it doesn't hurt my yarn. Mm -hmm. And secondly, because um, it's, it's that Hobby Lobby, I love this co mm -hmm. cotton. It's very soft. And uh, secondly, I want to make more of those um, those uh, pot holders. I think they make a nice set for gifts mm -hmm. or even to put up on a wall of a baby's room or something. Right. So I think Bonnie's got something really going there. I'm very excited for you, Bonnie. Very nice. Very cool. Okay, now my last project is in my Mama C bag. My Mama C owl bag, which I love to do because she made it for me because I wanted one in this fabric. And we bartered for it. Um, this is the um, Tweety the Owl project. And I showed you a finished one of this last week. I just haven't had a chance to work on this too much. Um, and I'm actually using a different yarn than I used in the other one. I think I used... Um, two together on those. This one is a heavier yarn and it's one. So it's a single yarn and it's, feel this Taya. It looks pretty solid. It's, it's pretty, it's almost bulletproof. I mean, yeah, it's, which it's, is good for a toy. It's good for a toy. It's not gonna, and I might embroider the stuff on this time. I think that would look really nice. Um, the reason I didn't for that one specifically was because of the, they had that space where I changed the color. Yeah. And I found a video tutorial, which is why I haven't gotten any further on this. I need to go back to the tutorial to see how to add the color and not have it be loose and have a little right. hole there. So I will do that when I get the time. Because this is really a quick project, and I think once you master I master that, I, I will then be able to do these fairly quickly. And I think they'll make, make nice little toys for the pregnancy center, along with those little bears that I put up in the in the freebie um, that some of you guys have picked up and you know said yeah you have to for that. It's it's she does it. It's a crochet pattern, and she kind of does it. As far as I can tell, um, she crochets it flat, and she crochets it up like this, and then she goes back and does it again on the other side, and then mm. you fold it over and mm. you sew it. I think that's what she does. But um, I do have some notes on this pattern. If anybody this owl pattern if anybody wants to make the pattern I did a few things differently differently um, you might have to adjust because I'm not the best at that kind of thing and I'm still working out things like that but I do have some uh, not notations on this and this like I said, this is my mama seat bag and I'd say this is probably a little more than a large of a, of a uh, Silver Shed USA is probably an in-between size so it's a good size bag that mama seat made me I love it makes me happy <clears throat> okay. Do you have anything else? Not for projects. Nope. You have an FO? Um, no foes. No, Do you no have any foes? foes? I have no foes. Um, okay. Let's move on. Do you have any royalties? Um, ooh, I think this will be the next color. Yeah, that, that'll be, that'll be good. Don't you think? Yeah. Okay, it should be pretty. Yeah. Okay, so. Um... Let me look. I wanted to hit questions first. Oh, okay. Um, so, what are questions, comments? Because with the work stretch, I really wasn't able to respond. Uh -huh. And I have been busy because, not because Taya can't drive, but because I feel better and my husband feels better if one of us drives her to work 
and then comes and gets her in the morning until she sees the doctor next week. And so she has allowed that. Because so, I missed um, a week of work last yeah. week. Yeah, and, um, and if she, even though it doesn't happen when she's driving, the, if something happens, I have to come get her, her car stays there indefinitely. So, and now they're adding on a building and all that kind of stuff, so we don't want her to be stuck there. Um, so it's just at least until after my cardiology appointment on Thursday. Yeah. But, um, we had comments from Renna, Donna, Valerie, Elizabeth, and Sally. Um, I'm glad that we could share some um, information about cardiac health. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, yes, watch SG1. Yes. Um, yes. I think you... We really enjoyed it, Ren. I don't know what kind of shows you normally watch, but it's a uh, sci-fi. And just be careful of the first episode. I don't know if you can get the version that was on TV that was cleaned up, but if you get the one that's on the DVD and apparently on Showtime, then it's got a scene in it that's got full nudity in it. You Which is absolutely it. unnecessary it for this show. And it never gets repeated never anywhere again. else again. So I don't know why. But they... after that one, it's really good. Yes. Um... Donna, we mentioned uh, what she said about the um, slowly I turn being I love Lucy. Yeah. Valerie, I'm so glad you like the uh, toys. Yes. Um, to make us happy. Another slowly I turn from Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, and uh, Sally, I'm glad that you find the um, cardiac information to be useful. And we won't do last names from YouTube because even though they're on YouTube, we don't have permission to use last names, so we will not. We'll just call you by your first name. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, yeah, Brittany mentioned Three Stooges and Slowly I Turned. She Apparently that was, that was very, uh... Well, that was some, that's a staple in her house, she said, so... Yeah. Um, now, uh, Lizzie, Warp F1, um, was talking about the first episode from Stargate. She's a Stargate fan. Yeah. Um, and she was the one who said Showtime. But she said it did show up on Showtime. So if you are watching on Showtime, because Hill will have that uh, yeah. scene. Um, and she mentioned General Hammond, who we forgot yes. to shout out. The I, lady. Well, I, I was thinking about it, but I couldn't think of his name. Um, so I was glad she remembered it. And that's uh, the general in the show. Yeah. Um, but in our family, they always call him Turtle Turtle. <laughs> and that's a reference to another movie. Yes. Um, yes. Master Disguise. Yes. Which is a weird movie. It is. Um, then Brittany again. Um, I'm thinking... She, uh, she says she loves the bunny in that colorway. I had three bunnies, Brittany. I'm not sure which bunny you were talking right. about. Um, although she, you made ref you talked about Rumpelstiltskin afterwards. So maybe Rumpelstiltskin? Oh. Um, then she said your owl was cute. Yes. Um, and she's hoping to get JD to... Right. And if you... Uh, it's a free pattern, Brittany. If you have trouble finding it, let me know. You can find it off my Ravelry page. Vani, I'm so glad you like the uh, forest floor. I didn't get a chance to work on it this week. but yeah. And uh -huh. I'm still waiting to have some time with her so she can fix mine. Yes, I know I should fix my own, but this is a little bit difficult, and I'm trying to figure it out, so she's helping me. And she worked on Tara during last podcast, so... Yes. Uh, Seamus, which is an awesome name for Tara. Yeah, I think so. Um... Yeah, and apparently, Mom, you need to learn. She says you need to learn. I saw that. I was forceful. Very, I was forceful. Very gently forceful. That's the mom version of forceful. Mm. She's a very gentle person. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this the baby blanket's going to be huge. I mean, um, it's a nice size baby blanket. Baby blanket. Um, the, the checkerboard school. ones? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and she likes your turtle pot holder. Yeah. Uh-huh. And just going to wave at Seductive uh, Barry because she said hi. hi. <laughs> now, we're not normally going to do this. It's just that we were so busy. We do want you to keep putting comments. Yeah, I was in, afraid so. that if we keep not responding, you feel like we don't read. And we do we read do. the We comments. read them. We just don't always have time to respond. And in case people are looking at this, you might recognize this. This is one of the necklaces that Davina made for me. It's, I've had it for a while. It's an owl, of course. Um... Laura, I did tell Davina what you said on the podcast that you're wearing her, po uh, or not the podcast, I think we're having a chat actually on uh, Facebook um, Messenger, that she that you are wearing her necklaces and she is thrilled by that. And if you want that one fixed, you need to send it to me because she can't, she fix, can't it fix it if we don't have it. So, okay. Um, maybe it's in that package. Anyway. Royalties? Uh, royalties. 
I don't have much in the way of royalties. I, we already showed you the uh, the bags, mm -hmm. so that was one. And the other one I have is kind of sort of related to knitting, but kind of not. This is. I thought a, you've had that one for a while. Uh uh. I just got this last week. Okay. This is the everything, the everything creative writing book because I'm doing some blogging now for my. Holy Family Institute, and I might be starting to put things also on other blogs like knitting and crocheting and stuff like that. And I want to get my writing jump started, so I got this second hand. So I think I got it for like eight dollars or something like that, if that might have even been less. And it's in really good condition. I saw it at a when we went when we had the uh, the week where Talia was in New York and we were having a vacation without Davina. Davina was at the grandparents. We had gone to a library sale and we saw it. But I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I, I just, I, I didn't pick it up. I, I wanted to see, I guess, if I could get a better price. And I, and I got a really good price on this. And uh, it's, it's perfect. If there's, there's no markings in it or anything. Oh, I know. This wasn't at the library sale. This was in a bookstore um, in that little town. And it was expensive. And so I got it for like... A song? Yeah. I got it for about a third of the price or a quarter of the price and it looks really really good I'm looking forward to reading it and has absolutely no markings so that means whatever notes I put in here will be my own notes and nobody else's nobody else's nobody else's all yours so that's that um do you have anything else I do um I have um well you saw one of them uh I got my uh kit my Take it. Um, and um, oh, they they said it's just a splash of coconut milk. Oh, is that a, okay? Well, they suggested like if you oh, want. Oh, right. I don't think it needs it. I don't think it needs it either. Um, Unless you really like coconut. Add a splash of coconut milk. Shake it up in a cocktail shaker and pair with your favorite lazy activity. You know what else would be good in that? Uh, pineapple might make it a little dicey, but it's some chocolate. Yeah. Um, the little itty bitty one they sent that they always send like as a sample comfort blend black tea I got this time now I won't be able to have this for a while because this is caffeine right and until the symptoms are a little bit more under control and putting myself back on a caffeine diet caffeine free a caffeine free diet yeah. um, it's all the carefree coconuts herbal tea that's really good I really and like that. um meadow walk herbal tea um which I ha I do have some of this this will be um a um I'm pretty sure I have some of this I need to start writing down the ones I really like because I, I like that one and I like that other one that I said, oh, that was really like the Germany one. And then, you, and then there was the one with the lime. So The lime you know, is the one you're saying was really like the Germany one. That was one. the last week? I'm pretty sure. We'll have to see what you had last week because that one was really good. Um, I drink that lime one a lot because I really like mm -hmm. that one. Um, so, Better Walk Herbal Tea is green Rubio's tea, lavender, rosemary, blueberries, raspberry leaves, rose hips, hibiscus, cranberries, blue cornflowers, blueberry essence, love and gratitude, no caffeine. Because I'm in the no caffeine, uh -huh. um, low club. caffeine yeah. club. Okay. Uh, whoops, I lost my notes. Hold on. All right. So, all right. Do you have any author obsessions? Um, not really because I mostly worked. Um, right. I didn't even really get a chance to watch SG1. Um, the only thing is we watched Phantom. Right. We we kind of went on and my husband and I kind of went on an old older movie binge. We watched The Saint, which was eh, and we watched with Val Kilmer and Elizabeth Shue, and then we watched, it went uphill from there, we watched uh, The Shadow with Alec Baldwin and Penelope Ann Miller, and that was good, and we watched The Phantom, which was also good. It, they weren't fantastic. I had Catherine Zeta-Jones, Billy Zane, and um, what's her name? I always forget her name. From Buffy. From Buffy and the Vampire Slayer. The Not not the TV show, not Michelle, Sarah Michelle Gellar, the other one, the yeah. original from the TV show. From the movie. Or oh, yeah, from, from, from the movie, movie yeah. From the movie. So um, that was good. It was fun. But I got a lot of writing done. I really am about this close to finishing. I'm, I'm answering They don't materials. believe you. I'm, I'm answering the last of the material, and then I have to do some original material. I'm hoping I can say next week that it, she has it, and I'm hoping she doesn't take nearly as long as I do. <laughs> I you did. You're taking eight months. I mean, usually I have it out within a month, but it's been very very difficult with my health issues her health issues and then starting up the Etsy shop and all kinds of stuff so hopefully we can get back on track so basically she's saying it's your fault what the Etsy shop 
No, I don't think that's what I said. I, I, I'm going to take it completely out of context and say that she's blaming you guys. Anyway, um, I do you have anything to talk about for your Etsy shop stuff? Nope, because I haven't been really working much on the design this week. Okay. I did have a shop update, and I had a few sales already. Thank you for those who have purchased. I really appreciate it. I um, still have... I have five skeins, I think it is, of the tortoise versus hare long skeins that were not in kits available. I think I have one of the, let me think, I think I have one of the, not for the faint of heart, two of the sweet dreams, two of the magical goon, and one of the um, good morning sunshine. So I have like five or six skeins of that long sport weight that would be great for you know, if you want to make a toy, if you want to make a shawl, I think you can make socks with that, possibly. Um, but anyway, I have those Yeah, I skeins. think you can make socks mm -hmm. with a long skein. You'd be fine. And I have uh, this end of summer, or summer's end will be what it's called later. I have those in the shop. My uh, Flights of Fancy and my uh, Blushing Flamingos both sold out, so they're gone. So uh, thank you for the people who bought those and other skeins. I just wanted to let you know that there is a shop update in case you didn't see the Instagram feed because I haven't had a chance to put it in the thread, okay? So uh, I did not dye up any new yarn. This time has been too busy this weekend, but this past weekend, but I hope to do some later on during the week. Uh, I'm reading The Can of Mysteries. It's a new book by David Beckett. Beckett I'm, look, uh, I'm enjoying that, and I'm still reading Mary Queen of Apostles by Blessed James Alberioni. Oh, the only thing that I forgot to mention I wanted to because it got slid underneath my paperwork. Cappy had sent me some oh, yeah. tea, Davidson's Organics, um, and they're different teas with honey. Cappy, I liked this so much, I picked up more for work because I generally drink from tea bags at work because it's easier than having so to worry about tea leaves. tea? Davidson's. Oh, Davidson's. Okay. Um, so I ordered more Cappy, particularly more of the Bing Cherry with Almond. Um, so that was very nice. So thank you, Cappy. I, it, it's going to be my work tea, and I'm going to um, let Mom try some of it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I was going to say something else, and I can't remember what it was, so it must not have been too important. Um, do you have anything else that we need to talk about? Nope. Are we podcasting Monday next week? No, I have ACLS training. Okay, on so we probably will podcast on Sunday next week. Um, just keep an eye on the uh, the threads. So you'll see when it's up. If it's late. What movie we'll, was like Keep an Eye on the Sky or there's a couple Cloudy with a fifth of people, so I don't know. Um if it's Sunday we won't say anything. Uh the one with the dragons. Um with um Batman in it. Um Oh right. They right. would they, they would say keep you know, an eye on the sky. What do you do when you remember they went ran through the whole thing for the kids about how to keep safe, you know, was, keep both oh, eyes you're, on oh, the you're, sky. Oh, you're talking about um uh Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you said Batman. I went to the Batman movie. Well, I... Christian Bale. I couldn't remember his yeah. name. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That was Rain of Fire. That's a good movie. You should check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, um, if you, we won't post any kind of reminder in the thread unless we have to post a podcast later in the week. Right. If we, if we, put, if we podcast on Sunday, you'll know soon enough. G you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, and... Let me think. Boy, I was on the tip of my tongue what I wanted to say, and I just can't remember what it was. Oh, well. All right, so we hope to see you next week. We thank you for joining us here in the PHN Fun and the Woman Cave. We wish you a week full of knitting, crocheting, crafting, whatever it is that makes you happy and every good thing. And this, we hope to see you next week. This is uh, Pen and Canille's podcast, episode 271, and that's a wrap.